Hi everyone, it's Bridget with Bees After Designs. I am coming to you with a guest design team project for Craft Supplies 1. I have altered my other um, wings that I had paper mache and I had done a video um, before this. Um, if you check my channel, you'll find it on how to make the wings. And this is actually a start to finish video. So after I get done explaining this really quick, it'll go right into the start to finish. So I made the wings out of cardboard and then I paper mache them and then I gessoed them and painted them white and I used glitter to glitter up the wings and I used a oh, regular fine glitter and then I used a flaky glitter and I'll hold this up closer so you can see it. And then um, this piece right here, you'll never believe it, and I wish I had taken a picture of it now, but this, if you go to Walmart in the party section, there are the little girls plastic crowns um, that you can buy for like not even a dollar. I don't even know if they're even a dollar. Um, I had gotten one. It was on clearance for like 25 cents at one of the Walmarts, and I said, oh, I can do something with this. So I grabbed that, and it's kind of like a headband, but I took the headband off and threw it away, and it was silver, and it had these bright pink um, stones on it, you know, plastic stones. So I took those off, too. And then what I did, and you'll see in the start to finish, if you watch it, this is like, um, let me grab that, those, because this I can explain it. It's like this, it's like this stuff. This Julie sells in her shop, too. But each of these lines are these that, you know, they're, they have the hole and they kind of are supposed to look like rhinestones. And that's what's all the way around here. And what I did was I used my glossy accents and I sat and I picked sea beads. <laughs> I don't know, I have this thing for sea beads lately. And um, I picked out the color that I wanted that matched. And I went around and I glued the sea beads all the way around this and you'll see that on, on my video I didn't do I don't think that I sat and video recorded all of me doing that I think I started it to show you and then I stopped the camera and then completed it so that's what I did there and then um, I put this string pearl across here and these are two brads that I had in my stash and what there is there's holes under here that go to the crown and um, that's where the the headband was attached to so it was perfect what I did was I just poked a hole in the cardboard and then I put hot glue in there and then I I pushed the brads down in there so and then these are flat back pearls I had in my stash and this in my start to finish video it shows me making the mold for this and actually this is I can show you this is what the pink this is the pink gem that was in the middle of there and that was the color of the round ones that were here. So I kept this when I took it off because I said, well, I can mold it. If I can't find something to fit there, I can mold it and do it the color I want and put one in. So that's what I did. That's a resin piece that I had made for that. Behind here is a shiny material that I glued on there um, from a wedding dress. And in between here are tiny little rosettes that I cut off of a rosette trim, and I just stuck them there. And then under here, I have flowers from Julie's store. There's the, this, these ones and the white ones, and I will just get them real quick and show you what they look like. Um, they are these ones. They're so pretty. I love this color. And I also used two of these ones. Beautiful. And with these ones, I just took the green. This actually comes right off. I just took the green leaves off so that I had no green in here. And then I just stuck one of those little tiny um, porcelain flowers right there. So, and then on the video, you'll see that the sponge that I used inside there is actually one of those Mr. Clean sponges. Um, I had gotten it in a box, um, a shipment of um, cleaning stuff, and 
I thought it was actually one of those, you know, I thought it was just extra stuffing for the box. I don't know. And I brought, I got two of them and I brought them out here. And it wasn't until I was doing this project that I realized it's the Mr. Clean Scrubbies that you do the walls with. But we don't have any little kids anymore, so I didn't see any need of keeping it. So I used it as the pin cushion. And this is a pin cushion. And I used larger rosette trim just to make it a little look shabby up here over the sponge. And then I made some stick pins to go with this. And I just put them together really quick. I mean, there's a little short part of the video that has them on there, me making them, but they're super easy. I mean, anybody can make a stick pin, just throw some beads on a stick pin. And that's what I did. I tried to stay with the colors of, um, you know, of this project when I made them. And, you know, they're just regular um, beads that I had in my stash. And the only thing different I did here was I added one of these charms from Julie's shop. So, um, yeah, and then the only thing left to do, which I didn't do in the beginning and I should have, is I have to put the back so this can hang on the wall. But um, that's my stick pin holder, um, Angel Wings. Oh, and this is another flower from Julie's shop. So go check out Julie's shop. It, she has a new store. It's Craft Supplies for You, and it's KS4U, the letter U, dot net. And um, Craft Supplies 1 on Etsy is still open. There, She is having 30% off, and it's holiday 30 is the code. And um, so as soon as the, all that is gone, then, you know, she won't have the Etsy shop anymore. So go check out these two um, stores. The website launched today. There's some things that aren't in the website right now that she hasn't gotten um, posted yet. So, and you'll notice that when, you know, you don't see them there when you click on them, like the parchment flowers, etc. So anyway, so thanks everybody for watching and um, stay tuned for a start to finish on this. Have a great day. <laughs>